Okay, scapula raises now. This is a specific upper body warm up. So before you bench, you're always going to be doing these, but it might be in your general one as well because it's working on the scapula and shoulder position, which is obviously important for squats as well as bench. All right, guys, so lying on your backs, but scoop down a bit so you've got plenty of room overhead. Feet flat on the floor and rest your hands on your thighs. Um, clench your fists but with your thumbs pointing up. Now what I want you to do from here is tighten your lower back and abs so you're keeping that nice neutral position. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and down as far as you can. So what I want them to do is I want them to try and tuck them into the back pocket. But if you notice, if I do this, which is what most people do on the bench, Look at, look at my abs, they've gone out, so I want them to do that and that at the same time. And this is the position I want them to get into. It's actually, if you're not used to it, it can be uncomfortable. But if it's uncomfortable, it means that your shoulder function isn't ideal. We want you to be able to have a flat neutral spine and pin your scapulas at the same time. So this is going to work their serratus anterior, which is important with that scapular function. So locking those all in place, I want you to slowly raise your arms over your head and try and touch your thumbs on the mat behind you. Keep your arms locked straight, Ollie. Shoulders back and down the whole time and lower back flat. Go as far as you can. Don't lose form to go further and then come back to your thighs. Right, so I made you do that in a straight line. This time, I want you to almost make a Y motion. So I want them to come out from 30 degrees, but no more. And the reason we do that is because that's the actual scapular plane, 30 degrees from the body. Straighten your arms, body. Just bring them in a little bit because it's a little bit more than 30, that's it. Then back, back over. So the whole time I want them pulling their core in and keeping the shoulder blades back and down. A couple more. So each one over and back is one rep. And typically it's a set of six, so six reps back and forth. If you can't get all the way to the floor, it's going to be a combination of tightness and scapular function. It might just be that you've got tight lats and you haven't got the ability to get there, or it might be that you can't control your scapular function very well. Okay, stop there, that's good.